Now, again, let's imagine something a bit different. Now let's think for a while how to generate the data structures for a defined volume method. First of all, what you want to have is the array that stores the, the nodes. And nodes, I mean mainly the coordinates. So what you, so you, what you first do is you, you need to number the nodes somehow. Okay, and the first array that you're interested in in your implementation is simply the array, array that will store the, the x, y, maybe z coordinates of each of the nodes. Uh, then, what else do you need? Mm, yes. You... First, you may want to uh, have like connectivity matrix. Mm -hmm. Mm. So the second one, or cells. And this one, as you said, should give you information about connectivity of the cells. So basically, what we expect, let's say, is the first, second, third, fourth, fine volume, six, seven, uh, sorry, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th. Uh, so what we would expect is we would expect, for example, something like that. 1, 2, one, two 3, 7. Um, then the second one is 7, 3, 4, etc. And the ninth cell would be, for example, 1, 7, Six. And this is the array um, that stores the information about connectivity. Mm. Anything more important? Mm, neighbors. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Why? Why do you need neighbors? For flux computation. Mm -hmm. 